Hey YouTube, so here's the latest on um, this Hurricane Dorian and I decided to give the information why I show this Jeep. Somebody actually uh, left their Jeep out on the beach and I think that's Myrtle Beach. I'm pretty sure that's Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. But I guess um, there's a lot of theories going around about well that person left that Jeep on the beach and that don't even look like a older model car. But hopefully I'll be able to talk over any um, noise within the video because I'm going to just play that video while I'm giving an update. So um, Hurricane Dorian lashed parts of North Carolina and Virginia with rain. Um, storm surges and strong winds as it brushed up against the uh, coast early Friday as a Category 1 storm. Before it, before it lost some of its strength early Friday today, Dorian caused flooding in parts of the Carolinas and spawned a number of tornadoes, officials said. More than 370,000 people were left in dark in South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia, according to uh, Power Outage USA. Do you know you can always look up power outages? Um, go to poweroutages.usa. No, excuse me. Poweroutage.us. And um, you can look up any power outage anywhere. If you have an issue with power outage in your area, you can always check it there. Anyway, in eastern North Carolina, Dorian is producing wind gusts near hurricane force. The state is seeing four to eight inches of rain with some local totals as much as 10 inches. Um, this storm is weaker in strength, but not in impact. Um, earlier this week, Dorian flattened homes and wiped out neighborhoods in the Bahamas, leaving at least 30 people dead. It then closed in on southeastern coast of the United States, where five deaths have been blamed on the storm so far. So here in the U.S., five, uh, there's been five reported deaths that's blamed on, on the storm. Though the storm has weakened from a Category 2 um, into a Category 1, there is... Uh, not much difference for North Carolina in terms of the impact, strong winds, and storm surge. As of 5 a.m., Dorian was 25 miles east of Cape Lookout, North Carolina, with sustained wind, winds of 90 miles per hour, according to the National Hurricane uh, Association. That's my daughter telling me good morning. Isn't that sweet? Um, and she's telling me what she did last night. See? I'm sorry, y'all, about that interruption, but um, yeah, sometimes your kids do that. She's 23. That's my middle child. Ain't heard from the 19 year old. But anyway, I'm sorry for that interruption. Um, so uh, Doran has North Carolina in his sights, uh, Governor Ray uh, Cooper said. And I actually thought we were out of kind of out of the uh, harm's way of Dorian, but this is Thursday when the Governor Cooper said that. Um, uh, Dorian has North Carolina in sights. We need people to hunker down and stay safe. We don't need people leaving their their homes. Uh, more than 10 million people are under hurricane or tropical warnings uh, Friday, which is uh, the forecast to be Dorian's last day on the U.S. coast. So this is supposed to be Dorian's last day on the east on the um, U.S. coast, but it's going to be a series of watches and warnings um, throughout today. Um, in North Carolina. So, um, let's see if there's anything else. Tornadoes along the coast. North Carolina resident uh, Byron Cox was in his home, mobile home in um, Emerald Island. I love Emerald Island. When the tornado approached, his home was still standing, but his father uh, was destroyed. So there was a, a tornado in Emerald Island. Um, I know Charleston got hit pretty bad. Um, there was a lot of... Uh, um, incidents there in Charleston, but uh, I want to talk about this 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 Jeep. You can hear the guy talking in the background. I hope y'all can hear me over him. But yeah, this Jeep left on the beach. I wonder if the owner was trying to get it washed away. Is that mean of me to say? Wow. 
You saw the Jeep starting to move there. The, the sand is covered. They are waiting. Like Those people are out there watching and waiting on that on that earlier, Jeep to, well, to uh, get washed away. Hold on. Continues to... Okay. So this is what happened. A Jeep caught the attention of National Thursday of the nation Thursday as it was left on the beach at Myrtle Beach during Hurricane Dorian. The owner of the Jeep, who did not want to be identified, of course he doesn't, um, reached out to the news people and this is what he said. He said his cousin rides a motorcycle and because of the bad weather, he let his cousin borrow the Jeep. So the cousin rides a motorcycle because of the bad weather, he let his cousin borrow the Jeep. This morning, he thought it would be cool to go on the beach and take a quick video of the sunrise before the storm came. Look at it. Look at that Jeep. So he rode on the beach, but he but he but he rode all the way down to the beach. First of all, I don't know how many of you have been to Myrtle Beach, but you don't drive on the beach. It's not like in Daytona. In Daytona, you just actually drive. You know, there's there's a drive like a street on actually on the beach. But not in Myrtle Beach. In Myrtle Beach, you park and then you walk on the beach. Uh, so, again, that doesn't explain why his car is out there. Um, and, and then I love when people blame their cousin. It wasn't my picture. It was my cousin. Y'all remember that? It was my cousin. He went in the bathroom at a cookout and took the picture. Anyway, okay, back on subject. Um, so the cousin thought it would be cool to go to the beach and take a quick video of the sunrise before the storm came. That's what the owner said. The owner said he thinks his cousin went off the run runoff because he was looking out the window and didn't realize it was in front of him. Okay. Again, cars are not allowed on the beach in Myrtle Beach. It's just not. Um, his cousin called people trying to get the Jeep out, but no one could help because the conditions. So he tried to get the Jeep out. Obviously, y'all see that I'm thinking that somebody purposely put this Jeep on the beach, uh, I guess, in hopes of it getting destroyed. But I could be wrong. So if I'm wrong, owner of the Jeep, please forgive me. And Mr. Cousin, uh, he avoided me for a good hour or two because he didn't know what to say. And then the police actually came to my house. The owner said the owner said he hopes the Jeep isn't totally isn't totaled. The owner said he hopes the Jeep is isn't totaled mm -hmm. but he thinks it probably is you think a tow company would get the jeep off the beach when conditions improve okay okay well um so um it looks like um Again, we're going to have some warnings and um, watches today here in North Carolina. My area has been pretty calm, and they're expecting it to continue to be pretty calm here in the tri Triad Piedmont area. Um, I'm 45 minutes, 40 to 45 minutes away from Charlotte, 40 to 45 minutes away from Raleigh Durham area. I'm right like in the middle of those two major cities. Um, I'm three hours away, three and a half hours away from Myrtle Beach and probably four hours away from Wilmington and Nax Head area. But um, so I'm looking at the news right now and it looks like, you know, Nax Head still is pretty windy and gusty there. Um, but um, after today, they saying that Dorian should leave uh, the U.S. Um, I heard it was headed, headed for Canada. Um, that's what I heard on the few news reports but um uh, y'all drop down in the comments and let me know how things are in your area um if you were impacted by this hurricane and drop down in the comments let me know what you think about this jeep did this guy leave it here on purpose was he three car payments behind and it was about to repossess or is he wanting to trade it for something else and he know the trade-in value wouldn't be that great so he left it out there so he can cash in on the insurance or did his cousin really decide to drive out on the beach his cousin that rides the motorcycle 
but borrowed his Jeep because he wanted to ride out on the beach and see the sunset and, and everything. And then as he was driving, he was realized how close he was to the ocean. And at that point, it was way too late. And he tried to call for some help, but nobody was there to help him. So he hopped out and saved himself and left the car. Y'all let me know what y'all think. This is Miss Cruiser. Please like, share, and subscribe.